Alright, so a problem um, I'm seeing a lot of people have noticed is they're having a their forerunners are they're having a little spacer wear out, and what it's going to look like is you go to uh, press down on the gas and look how much it's going down. You can see, as you can see, there's a lot of play in that gas pedal. I'm like, that's 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 what should be revving, but it's just moving. And then I have to really mash it down to get any uh, rev at all. So we're gonna go ahead and fix that. This cable, which is the throttle cable, is very loose. It should not be that loose. All right, so the reason it's so loose up front is because there's actually a little spacer up here that's pretty difficult to see. It's really far up. So if you follow the gas pedal up top, you'll see, you'll see where it connects to that wire there. You can see the very end of it is connected to the wire. And normally there would be a rubber spacer between that little white piece of plastic and that nut. Uh, but there's not. So let me show you how much space there is missing because of that spacer being gone. All right, so as you can see, I've pulled out that wire a little bit and that should really be snug right up against that little white spacer. Uh, but it's not because we're missing that rubber piece. So I'm gonna show you uh, how we can replace that rubber piece um, because they're, you can't really buy them. <laughs> this is what my spacer looks like. It's almost split in half. Um, it's obviously, we're not gonna be able to use this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to make a new one and I'll show you guys how I do that. All right, so all we're gonna need to do this is some rubber tubing and zip ties and a knife. All right, so the first thing we're gonna start by doing is cutting off just under an inch of this pipe here. All right, so here's our little piece that we're gonna use as a replacement. So the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and cut a slit along the side. That way we can slip it over the cable without having to disassemble anything. All right, so that's pretty much all the preparation we need to do. We can go ahead and put it on there now. All right, hopefully you can see this all right. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this on there. All right. So there we go, we got both zip ties on there. I'm gonna go ahead and cut those tails off and we'll see if it worked. All right, so now the repair is complete. And as you can see, we have a lot less slack in our cable. That way we have more control when we're trying to drive. All right, thanks for watching guys. I sure hope this video was helpful and drive safe.